Hi, welcome to your channel Versatile for You. My name is Asan Ali and I hope you are doing well. So, it's our fifth lecture of Python tutorial. So, in our previous lecture, we have learned about the data types and we also learned about one data type which is string. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss string in detail and learn its all functions. So, let's get started. It's our fifth lecture, Python string functions. In this lecture, we will learn Python string functions, all the functions of Python string. So, introduction. Python string function and operation. In this function, in this Python string lecture lesson, we will discuss what is Python string and its example. Moreover, we will learn how to declare and slice a string in Python and also look at the Python string functions and Python string operations. At last, we cover escape sequence in the Python. As we saw earlier, you don't need to mention the data type when declaring a string. So, Python string. Python string is a sequence of characters that is built in class string. str means string for handling python string you can provide this with the type function uh, if we type uh, a is equal to we live in lahore then we type we live in lahore then it tell us its class or uh, we can also type a for example here we do an example A is equal to my name is Asen in the string. And now here I type uh, I write print type A. Now it will tell us the type of A. It tell us here class string. It's mean it's string. So, Python does not have the character data type like C++ or Java, I already told you. So, declare Python string. You can declare Python string using either single quotes or double quotes as you all know. So, here if we write A is equal to we live in Lahore or my name is Asen as I write. So, here I uh, print a right print a print a then it will write my name is sn as I sh you show my name is sn so if uh, so if we write here one quote uh, here we write my name is SN on double quotation. So here if we write one side double quote and in the uh, other side we insert single quote then it will give error for example like this. So use of quotes inside Python string. For example, since we delimit string using quotes, there are some things you need to take care of when using them inside a string. For example, if you need to use double quotes inside a Python string, delimit the string with single quote. And if you need to use single quotes inside a string, delimit it with double quote. Here we do an example. For example, I write a um, and take any variable name is equal to sn. Uh, my name is sn. My name is sn. So if I also want uh, quotations around my name like this, then I use here single quote. Single quote and at the end double quote. So 
this double quote is belong to this double quote this is for string and this is for my name this is single quote here I print it print name so it will show like this my name is SN in the single quotes so if we want double quote here in around my name so we use single quote there then it show in my name in double quote and I we, I also told you that if I wrote here I write here name with capital N so python is case sensitive so it will give error like this so if you need to use double quotes inside a python string delimit string with single quote means if you want to use any quote quotation around any word in the string so you uh, you have to delimit the string with single quote and if you need to use single quote inside a string then delimit the string with double quote so here displaying a single character to display a single form a string from a string but it index in square brackets indexes begins at zero for example a is equal to we live in Lahore and print a1 so it will show E because E is on the index 1 and w as index start from 0 so W is on the index 0 and E is on the index 1 and here there is a space between V and live and space also carries index so uh, space is on the index 3 and live in li uh, L of the live is on the index 4 so here like this 0 on the w 1 on the e and 2 on the space this is for our index so we can also delimit slice a link for example uh, here we write print a 3 colon 14 so it will uh, it will print character 3 to 14 with the indexing begin at 0 it will print live in Lahore in LAH it will all uh, I show you by example here if I write name then in the call in the bracket 3 colon 15 or someone then I print it then it show my name S A H S so here we saw it's my M is on 0 Y is on 1 space is on 3 so it start from name N A M E space I S space quotations then a h s it's to string 14 it's to the index 14 because index start from 0 so it will show one less so if we print uh, a colon 8 then will then it will also uh, only show us the first eight letters first eight index and the print characters from the beginning to character 7 and if we print 8 and after call after 8 we write colon then it shows us the uh, from character a to end of the string and if we print a colon then uh, it will only colon then it will show hold the call hold the string so for example if we here if we write here name or we are so insert here colon then it will same function hold and 
if we don't use it then there is no change like this so here if we print colon 8 then it will show the characters first 8 characters and first 8 characters from the index in with respect to index and if we write colon after the 8 then it show of 8 characters it print characters from character 8 to the end of the string so for example if we print a colon minus 2 then it will print character from beginning to two characters less than the end of the string for example here if we write colon minus 5 then it will show all characters except the last 5 uh, here the last 5 characters are a, a string uh, here is the uh, quotations double quotations 1 and n2 a3 s4 h5 then it will skip last five uh, characters and show us the first characters all characters except last five so here if we write colon at the end minus five then colon print it then it show uh, only the last five characters it skip all the remaining characters it print characters from two characters uh, five characters from end of the end of the string so move to legs so here print a minus two two colon minus two this print from three characters from the strings and to two characters from it for example here if we write minus 5 colon then again minus 5 then it will show nothing here as we see the following codes written empty string so we can't use this so move forward python string concatenation as I also told you earlier concatenation uh, is the operation of joining stuff together python strings can join using the concatenation operation plus for example here in a we write here in a we write do you see this and in we take a second variable b and we assign value double dollar sign and question mark sign so we print a plus b then it will uh, it will join the string do you see this of a and then this double dollar sign and question mark of b so we can here a is equal to 25 in the string if we remove string from this and we just write a is equal to 25 without strings without quotation then it will consider it as integer not string but if we want to take it at string so we have to use quotations around it single or double quotations according to our choice so print 2 multiply by a it's a multiply sign so 2 multiply by a means it will write 25 two times multiply by a by return 25 25 and not 50 but here if we remove string then it will show us 50 for example here I show you by doing an example here 
here I take a is equal to 50 then I write print 2 multiply by a and print it it is now 50 is the integer not string so it multiply by it and shows us the result 20 a uh, hundred 50 multiplied by 200 if here we take 5 multiplied by a then it will multiply by 5 by 50 then it will return as the value 250 but here if we write 50 as a string so it will tell us 55 times it write here 55 times 50 50 50 50 and 50 so here you cannot join a string to a number for example here if we write a, a string here and then here we take b is equal to 50 in integers now it is string upper a is string and b is integer and here if we want to join a and b for example a plus b a plus b then run it it will show an error because we can cannot join different type of different data types so here if we also turn it into the integer then it will join and show us 50 50 yes 50 50 so escape sequence in python in python string you may want to put a tab for example here if we write uh, slash n it's for line feed and slash t it's it for tab for example here i write in this core for example So here if I use in the after is my name is then I use slash n then what it did what it will do check it run it will turn the next word after the slash n or the next uh, words after the slash n on the next line and if we write here slash t then it will space it will create space between my name is and sn and if we write double slash then it will write a single slash here so if we write slash and uh, one string here then it will show the string so python string functions python provide us with a number of a function that we can apply on the string or to create string for example if uh, we there here we write my name is sn now here i check the length of len for length and here i write the name of variable of which i want to find the length so run it it will show 19 here are the 19 uh, length of the string you can also use it to find how long a string of uh, of the how long a slice of a string is for example here if you write a name then write 2 and then colon then it will print 17 means overall is 19 but 
after minus 2 then it will turn as 17 so python string function so python convert any data type into string for example here we take a variable and we put any data type in it then we print string this as we uh, as we study in the type conversion so this is not a uh, difficult lower and upper these method return the string in lower case and upper case yes it's interesting for example here I take a variable a is equal to Pakistan in the string yes then here I write print a dot lower uh, dot upper if I write dot upper and then bracket then print it then it will show this name in the upper case in capital letters so here if I write capital letters P A K P A K I S T N then here if I write lower then it will show us all on the lower case Pakistan so it's for that if we write some word in the upper and some word in the lower case so if we want yes like this it is Pakistan here some words are in upper case and some is in lower case so now it will show all in lower case and if we write upper then it will show all in upper case so now python string function strip it removes white space from the beginning and end of the string for example if we write here Pakistan with the very many spaces and here also many spaces and now here I use strip function strip so then it will remove these spaces for example yes it will remove these spaces but if I don't use it and just write a print a then it will consider spaces for example here I write i then space m and here I write i am Pakistani then print it it show spaces I am Pakistani but here if we write then it don't here also we use some quotations for example like this R I here I use M in quotations then print it now it write it but here if we use strip function a dot strip then then it will reduce only the white space from the beginning and the end not from the middle as we see it's beginning there is a space for example here I did sp uh, space then strip it then it like this but if I don't use strip function then it show us as it is like this so move forward 
so return true if all character in a string are digits so is there is also is digit function for example here I write a just So here I write Pakistan and now I use is digit and print it. So it would tell true if all the all the values are digit. So it will tell us false because there are characters not digits. So if I write here seven, 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 then it will also tell us false because there is not all the corrected digits. But here, if I just write seven, 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 that it will tr tell us true. So it is the function of is digit, is digit. So move forward. Here we tell us. about alpha is alpha or not for example here I write is alpha is alpha then it will tell all the values assigned to a variable a is alpha or not for example here I run it then it will show us false because here is not alpha but here I write any alphabetics for example my name then it will tell us true but here if I write any alphabets and digits also then it will show as false because it's of uh, it is true true it shows true because if all the characters are alphabetics there is not all the character alphabetic there is also seven which is digit so like this so if there is also function if space return true if all character in string are spaces for example here in the string we use space nothing any word then here I write is space then print it it will tell us true yes space but here if I write any word for example n then it will tell us false yes so this is these are the basics of Python you must have to know it in future lecture we will go toward advanced uh, our coming lecture is very interesting in which we ta learn about if else statements so now move forward Python string function it takes a string as an argument and returns true in is the string it is applied or begin with the string in the argument for example here we take a is equal to homeowner and print a dot starts with ho for example we can use here i write i am I am student so here if I write a dot starts with then in the bracket here I write I space a m then print it what it show it will sentence syntax error yes because it's for word I think so here I just write student then here I write s oh sorry here I have to write this I am student and there yes yes it will tell yes true 
because it start with I M. Here if I remove space, then it will show false. Yes. So here if we write any other word, it start with uh, my, then it will show false. No, it's not start from my, it start from I. So this is function star starts with and if here I write ends with it tell us ends with it tell us the the string is end with which word for example here I write t so it's end with t then yes t then it will tell us true yes but here if we write any other word for example n then it's not end with t it end with not end with n it ends with t so that's why it shows as false so move forward it is also find function for example here I take variable a and assign a value home owner then I write print a dot find m e o w then it will show us output 2 then it return the index of substring it will tell us the index for example this start with for example here if we write I am student then here I use function a dot find then I write m a m m then it will tell us the index from which the m is starting it don't show if there is any error maybe oh I have to use string there too yes so now so yes it will tell us 2 because it start with the index 2 for example here is the i is on the index 0 space is on the index 1 here if we write s then it will show it's from which index it's index 5 but here if we write many words for example today then it will tell 5 because it starts from 5 so here we can also for example here we write du and it will show minus 1 like this so move forward python string function replace it take two argument, uh, arguments the first is the subtracting to replace the second is subtracted to replace with for example here I use a dot it's a find yes a dot replace then I want to replace student with SN then I write here student and use comma and SN then it will tell us it will replace it for example Uh, what's error in this maybe any error
टेव ना एन विदेश चे अनस्पेक्टेड ईओएफ वॉल पार्सिंग सो मेबी यस दिस इज एरर आई डोंट यूज ब्रैकेट यस सो दिस रिप्लेस स्टूडेंट विद एसएन this student with sn so we can also split it for example here i write dot a dot and m dot and student dot now print first we print it as it is so it print like this a dot m dot student so now we split it dot split and we use string on the dot so what it do just see yes it will write it like this it takes one argument the string is then split around every occurrence of the argument in the string i m and student so we can also use join function for it for example here we write join with uh, here i write for example static yes then static dot join a then it will join static to a means it will join a i m s i m student for example run it then it show i m student it will show this on every word like this i can show you by zooming oh this is snippet tool magnifier yes So, like this, I static dot static, and around every word it use static. So, but if I remove write it like this, here I use double quote because I use single quote outside, then limit it by single quote. Then I use it here double quote. and now it will single single word i am it will not use like this it will join i am student like this here if i write dot join a and if we use list here for example like this then it will and also use comma with every word like this so now it will like this hi am student so move forward we can also comparison python string operation we can also comparison uh, python string can compare using the relational operations for example here print hi 
less than high then it will show true because first word is high and here first word is h here first word is also h then it is same then it goes to next word e and h then here e is the e e comes after i i comes after e in the dictionary so it tell us true for example here i write for example yes here i write a is greater than b then uh, print a print a then it will show false a is not greater than b because a comes first in the alphabet then a is smaller a, a b is after a then b is greater so we can use also we can compare it then you can see uh, more example here a is equal to check then we saw a is equal to check we write two time is equal we can also study this in if else statement we have to use is equal to two times so this is like it's nothing too hard it's just the basics now from the next lecture we will learn many interesting topics and our work will start from next lecture we will have to code now arithmetic so some arithmetic operations can be applied on spring for example a is equal to b n is equal to n then print it it will show b a n a and b multiplied by 2 means n it write n a two times then it will show output banana like this so here we use also in or not in function for example here we write a n a and b banana so here we print a in b in is the built in function so we write a in b so it's mean that a is in b or not what's happening to it Twenty slide. This way, I have study this. Yes, these are the slides. So it will tell A is in B or not. So here we write. A is equal to less, and B is equal to helpless. Then print A is A not in B, but here less is in B because helpless, uh, hel less in the B. Then it will show false. But if we write just A in B, then it will tell us true. For example, here we do an example like this. A is equal to my here. My name is S N. Then B is equal to S N. And print A 
in B oh B in A B in A A in B B in A so now its mean is B in A or not if in A then it will show us true if B is not in A then it will show false so here it will tell us true but here if we write any other word SM I mean here I write Ali then it will tell us false no Ali is not in A so that's why we use it so this is all about string function it's very simple and easy topic it's just the basic we have already studied in the previous lectures so now uh, the main purpose of this lecture is that you, you have to clear the basics of the strings uh, it will very useful in the future lectures so you should have practice it it's not too much tough it's very easy so now I will show you the course content here it's our con course content in which we have covered the uh, five lectures it's our fifth lecture pattern string functions and in previous lecture we have overview and introduction to python number two download and installing anaconda and launch spider and number three python variables and basic data types and number four python data types in detail so and this lecture is python string functions so after this we will go to decision making statement for example if else statement and after that seven lecture will be on loops and our future topics are very interesting and uh, in python functions we will learn about functions and files and directives in which we study how to how to manage files and directory how to rename file by coding how to open file how to read file how to view file and in python object and classes we will learn about objects and classes in the python and a further lecture we will also tell us uh, i also tell you about the jupyter notebook how to use it and also learn panda libraries and in this lecture we will databases we will learn about database how to make database how to create database in mysql server and how to open it and in that last lecture data visualization through matplotlib here we will learn how to make different graphs like pie chart a bar chart and other 3d Mm, charts and uh, how to visualize data in this and then I will uh, give you assignments from all the course and you have to do that assignment uh, for your you know, for uh, get good command on the coding so after this python from beginning after this completing this whole course we will go toward machine learning so this is all about now we had learned about string functions so i hope you understand my explanation so meet you in next lecture take care bye